thanks for stopping by. Today, we are going to expose the common mistake that some people make when they decide that they will only follow Jesus' teachings if they feel that God leads or calls them to do it. By the end of this video, you will be equipped to counter this clever trick of the devil that tries to keep you from living the life that God wants you to live. Ready? While we're on the streets getting the word out and when people write in to us responding to our videos, we seem to come across one type of response fairly regularly from professing Christians. Some admire us for our faith and give us all kinds of praises for actually practicing what we preach. But when we tell them that we're not looking to be hoisted up as saints, but instead all we want is for people to join us in our humble service to God's kingdom, these Christians immediately respond with this classic clanger. Oh, that's your call. I would only do something like that if I felt led to. Wait a second. So what these Christians are telling us is that they don't feel that God is calling them to follow the divine teachings of his perfect son? What kind of devilish trickery is this nonsense? Using this logic, there must be millions of Christians in the world today who just simply don't feel like following Jesus' teachings. And then they excuse such blasphemy by claiming that God hasn't led them to do it. Now that's taking the Lord's name in vain if I've ever heard it. You just can't call yourself a Christian and then not even try to follow Christ. Sadly, so many people fall into this trap where they actually believe that God would somehow call them to do anything else besides follow Jesus. How foolish! And yet it is taught in so many churches today. But. We are here to expose this trap for the diabolical lie that it really is. Here we go. While Jesus talked to a large crowd of people, he asked them, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? And he says, Not everyone who calls out to me Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. How do we know God's will? Well, a good place to start would be Jesus' teachings, found in the four Gospels. Jesus said, My teaching is not my own. It comes from the one who sent me. Anyone who wants to do the will of God will know whether my teaching is from God or is merely my own. So how can anyone hear the divine teachings of Jesus and think that God won't care if they don't do what he says? Jesus talks about this very special kind of person. He says, Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. But for someone who listens to Jesus and hears his call on each and every one of our lives, he says that this person will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Using Jesus' analogy, his words are the rock that we build our lives on. Only wise people heed his words and put them into practice, while the foolish people make excuses about how they are somehow exempt from obeying the perfect will of God as expressed through Jesus' teachings. But Jesus doesn't just say that those who choose to ignore him are foolish. He even goes so far as to say that anyone who loves me will obey my teaching, and anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. And he also says that if anyone is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. Now that's a hard line. We meet hundreds of people every day and so many of them tell us that they love Jesus. But when we ask them if they can even tell us five things that Jesus actually taught, they draw a total 
Like, if these people don't even know what Jesus taught, then how could they obey his teachings? And if they don't even try to obey his teachings, then how can they claim that they truly love him? Because they simply don't feel called? Nonsense! Jesus didn't say that you can still love him even if you ignore everything he said. He did say, if you love me, keep my commands. Another point we want to make today about the sad misconception that a person can somehow be a Christian without following Christ is a notion of being spirit-filled. A lot of so-called Christians we meet claim to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And yet they too cannot tell us even a few things that Jesus taught. Instead, they boast of all the miracles they have performed, from healing the crippled or raising the dead, of course, without giving any sort of evidence for these incredible claims. But this completely contradicts what the Holy Spirit is really all about. If we receive the Holy Spirit through Jesus, then maybe we should take a look at what Jesus actually said about the Spirit before going off to perform a bunch of supposed miracles. Jesus says that the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. So what does that say about the people who are supposedly Spirit-filled and yet have no clue? what Jesus actually taught. And then Jesus also says that the Spirit guides us into the truth of Jesus' divine wisdom, bringing all the glory onto Jesus. Where do you see this happening in all the supposed miracle workers who primarily promote themselves while only giving empty lip service to the great gift giver? If you have ever been convinced by the devil that maybe you're not all to follow Jesus' radical teachings, then hopefully this video has given you some cause for cause to really ask yourself, would God ever call me to do anything else besides follow Jesus? Now you have been armed with some of Jesus' own words that tell us that there is really no room for disobedience to his teachings. Please subscribe to this channel and write to us at radicallynewlife at gmail.com for more information on how you can start living your life in loving obedience to Jesus. Thanks for watching and God bless you.